Hey guys, what's up? Commentary, finally, 1v1 commentary, and this sick, like, kind of picture that Amy made me on Halo, so I can do nothing but thank her for that. Uh, so, thanks, Amy. That's a bit too loud in my ears. Let's turn that down. Alright, so this is from Idactyl. Um, some of you know him, he's MLG Center, and it's gonna be a 1v1, so, um, typically in a 1v1, I, uh, I kind of want to see him uh, run around and try and get control of camo seeing as the guy rushed snipe first so uh, definitely want to see that which he looks like he's trying to do right now so he's got control of camo and uh, he should definitely uh, try and make a rush towards snipe because uh, typically in 1v1s you need all the power weapons to win and it's going to be a really nice BR, so he's going to actually grab his sniper rifle right here. So a good tactic in a 1v1 is to sit S3 and look the spawns, which he's doing right now. And... I haven't... doesn't look like he's anywhere. So basically if you don't see him for like, I don't know, 5 or 6 seconds, definitely look behind you like uh, Idactyl's doing now. Um, he could be anywhere, he could be... Uh, basically, if he's not anywhere, he's probably either bottom mid or coming up elbow. Um, so as you can see, there you go, bottom mid. Uh, definitely should have tried to uh, like pre-nade and then move to elbow, so you can bait him to more toward uh, green side, so you can clean him up with a sniper. But he did a good job right there of uh, two shotting him. So really nice decision. Again, moving up to S3 to check spawns. So heard the canisters right there. So he's around blue room. He's either going to go blue or yellow. So he's definitely around there. Good decision to check bottom mid again, uh, because you can go gay jump and jump over uh, to bottom gold and go through bottom mid, which is actually quite good. So I'd like to see him move green with snipe, you know, try and be a little bit unpredictable. But it looks like he's just going to sit S2. All right, so obviously playing sneaky right there, hiding on, uh, hiding in the corner of S2. So that's going to basically give him the lead, you know, maintain a steady lead. And I just saw him uh, on. Some First, on like the only VR spawn, and just say gold window. And uh, one thing I would do right here is I would go blue room. Um, yeah, I have the lead, but I like to play aggressive in 1v1s, so I definitely move blue room. Um, as you can see, if he moved blue room right there, he would have avoided like whatever his name is. So, yeah, it's just basically 1v1s are all about being unpredictable and moving to certain areas that people wouldn't expect that's kind of what a 1v1 is so if you can do that well then yeah. alright so it's just trying to go for like no scopes now um, he's like 4 kills up, he can afford to no scope even though he has a mauler um, just again it looks like throughout this entire game he's going to try and uh, take control of uh, just hold down snipe most of the game. So right here, I would probably move green, um, but looks like he's just gonna go bottom gold right here. Uh, I don't really like bottom gold in one v ones because it's quite cramped, and if you don't have a very good BR, then uh, you're kind of fucked. But there you go. I just saw a mess too. So if he were on green right now, he probably would have a better angle than blue window. So. Really nice headshot right there for his uh, for his killing spree. Um, again, checking spawns a really good idea. Uh, blue window, so I wouldn't sit that far up on S3. Um, it's a big mistake because you can easily get nade planted like that. And if the guy has a good BR, then it's all over. But really, really nice decision to back down, come back out, mauler him. Really nice again, sitting S3 checking spawns again. So I really like. Uh, what I'm seeing out of Idactyl again. Uh, one improvement I would like to see is I would kind of like to see him change it up a little bit. Right now I wouldn't be surprised if he died. Uh, I'm going to call host on that because that was very hosty that he didn't trade that. But um, it doesn't matter. He's uh, I think he's behind him. I can hear him S3. Or no, maybe not. I can hear him somewhere. There you go. Really nice. Alright, so that's seven to zero. Um, not sure going top mid was the right idea right here. Looks like the camo is gonna like come up or something. But again, like really nice. Mm, 
got Albiard right there. You see, he would have done a better job if he jumped the camo right there, because the camo was coming up. Um, probably, yeah, definitely could have done a better job if he jumped the camo. Right here, he's doing a good decision. He's hiding because he doesn't know where the camo guy is. So hiding bottom green is a good idea. I kind of like to switch it up, not stay bottom green for too long. Uh, kind of go bottom mid and uh, go to blue, which it looks like he's going to do. I'd pick up that mauler as well, which is good. All right, looks like he's going to be best sniper with it, but oh, gets domed. Okay, guys, so this guy has sniper and mauler control. What you want to do right now is you want to sit back and either wait for the camo or just try and get him off snipe. Um, sit and gay jump. Uh, I don't know. It looks like he's going to try and do it, some kind of nade trick or whatever, kind of looking up into the air. Let's see where this goes, gets him. Looks like that's actually going to kill him. Wow, two really well, really uh, good time grenades right there. Really nice. Alright, so now he has Mauler and Snipe control, so this is looking really well for him. If you have Mauler, definitely a good, a good decision to sit Snipe with it. Um, it can be more useful either green, it can be useful anywhere close, so anywhere close, definitely a good decision to use that Mauler in. Um, one thing Troy does, actually, is he actually throws the Mauler off the map, so uh, he just likes to keep it sniping BRs, you know, he doesn't really, he doesn't think the Mauler is that skill worthy, so... Uh, I can kind of agree with him. Behind you, S3. Nice. You um, can hear him there. Um, really, really nice uh, job of sitting S3. This is like it's Guardian 6.1 spawns. So, um, a failed nade plant right there. It's a good decision to kind of just look for his team. Right there, I'd probably move bottom mid uh, and get off snipe. You know, try and change it up a little bit. Uh, but it looks like he's just going to be a complete arsehole and just stay sniped with Mauler. Definitely a nice decision of Rush right there. He had a lot of shots on him with the Mauler. Uh, the guy he was facing was absolutely fucked right there. Oh, and he just got gold on gold too. That's a really shit spawn right there. Shit. <laughs> That's just unfortunate. You can't do much about that. That's really, really unfortunate that he'd spawn. Uh, bottom gold when you kill him, uh, top mid. I would have thought he'd spawn like blue or something. I kind of expected that to happen. Um, definitely going S3 is probably not the best idea when you don't have snipe control. Um, you probably, if he's sitting top gold like he is right now, you need to go uh, either elbow or bottom mid. But that guy is really bad. <laughs> uh, not looking behind him and shit. Definitely a wrong time to turn around, dude. Um, this looks wow! What a way to end it. <laughs> guy falls off the map. Uh, anyway, improvements for that game. I'd say definitely change it up a little bit. You, if you were facing me one v one, I definitely wouldn't do the mistakes that. Um, that guy was making. Um, I would definitely wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't have let you got more the control that that guy did, and he obviously didn't time the camo very well. Um, I don't know if you were wearing Astros or Turtle Beaches or whatever, but you definitely knew where he was coming from if he was on snipe. Um, I'll put a little bit more in the description. There's not much I can say about this game, purely because you you were facing someone who was fucking horrible, but. <laughs> but that's basically just it I guess um, anyway uh, thanks for watching guys there's going to be a commentary coming out Monday school is kicking my ass at the moment uh, because English language literature history and philosophy isn't the best uh, to actually you know conserve time with and shit anyway um, I'll catch you later thanks for watching sorry there's been such a fucking gap and shit if you haven't watched Paige and Ali's commentary that they did for me it was that was kind of like a substitute but it wasn't, I don't know what to say about it, but it was a really good commentary, you guys check that out. Uh, thanks for watching again, third time I said it, kind of oversay that phrase a little bit. This is HD, so the file size is going to be huge, why am I still speaking? I'll see you guys later, bye. Oh, and comment rate, subscribe, you fuckers.